it's worth mentioning here while I think about it, <clears throat> the scientists will know this, but we all have the same four chemical bases in our DNA. Any tree can read your DNA sequence. The nucleotides won't do it any good because it doesn't interest a tree because a tree doesn't do what we do. But any tree can read your DNA sequence. And anything that damages our DNA, and if there are any professionals here who would like to know the sequence through the cell, I'll happily give it to you. Anything that will, ham it, that, that will damage our DNA will damage all other living species' DNA. All of them. Plants and animals. And the figures are showing this. Trees, <coughs> right, <coughs> I'm quoting this from the magazine ESUK, which uh, I think there are, there are some copies over there, but it, it, it's quarterly or, or four times a year, and they do cover lots of legal aspects, and they have their doctors, scientific advisors, uh, and it is well worth getting, uh, and it's not expensive. But in ESUK, there is an article here on trees subjected to low-level microwave irradiation. Uh, 29 pages, the red oak, cherry, willow, black poplar, and all trees suffer the same. They all start losing their immune system once you bombard them with communications microwaves. <laughs> Trees are designed to pick up radiation. They are not designed to pick up microwaves. They do not like microwaves. Even children in school do experiments with watercress near cell phones or with microwave water. Uh, it, it's patently obvious that um, any tree does not like microwaves. And the moment you start microwaving a tree, two things happen. First is the tree starts to lose its immune system. And secondly, I did say there were three species on Earth that I know of uh, that are impervious to microwaves. One of them is bacteria, microorganisms. They seem to thrive under the energy from microwaves. I, two things happen with trees. First, the bacterium start to thrive and invade the tree. And secondly, the tree starts to lose its immune system. And it's only a matter of time. All around the world, where 5G is going up, trees are coming down. The reason is <clears throat> trees inhibit the progress of 5G. 5G is not a big around circular wave that you get from transmitters. 5G is a beam, sort of a cross between a torch and a laser. It is a beam, and that beam has trouble going through a tree trunk or the density of leaves, especially if they're wet. And especially along roads. I have had calls from all over the world <coughs> um, saying, Barry, why are they cutting our trees down? And I say, is 5G going up? Yes, there is your answer. In Malta, the lady that rang me said they're cutting the trees down and the reason is that motorists can see better. In uh, the USA, when they're just not giving an explanation, they're just cutting them down. Sydney, Australia, where they're telling the truth, and the application into the government is the submission to the government 5G inquiry. Sacrifice trees for network performance and overwhelming numbers of small cells. In Australia, they've just said, if you want 5G, we cut the trees down. Simple as that. Now, the reason given to us, uh, we are culling in the Teenbridge area, that I come under Teenbridge, 
90,000 trees for or for, to stop the prevention of dieback. I don't know what dieback is, I'm not a tree expert, um, but we are cutting down 90,000 trees and we are also cutting down, um, it is 440,000 trees along the road so that they do not pose a danger to motorists. Birds, bees, insects, trees, the migration of animals, colony collapse, a big study on aspen trees. There are 20 studies here, proper university studies on all of these. Um, and it is the same thing really. You suppress the immune system and for the animals, the navigating animals, the ones that use the sun or the earth's magnetic field, even the creepy crawlies that go along the ground, they use navigation uh, from the earth and from the sun. But for the scientists here, I'm talking about the uh, cryptochrome pigment double electron absorption system that has been published in Nature for Robins. And we know the other birds have it, the other animals have it. Animals lose their immune system, all animals, and those that use the sun or the Earth's magnetic field, they become disorientated. Uh, migrating birds get lost, uh, butterflies get lost. <clears throat> Quite a lot of harm, particularly on insects. Insects, uh, they have a large surface area to body volume. And their surface area absorbs more radiation than the body can hold. It's known that one of the 5G frequencies, when it was tested on a bee, just absolutely saturated the bee. The bee lost its immune system and the whole thing turned to pus inside. Two studies costing 30 million euros over a good 10, 12 years found an increased cancer, increased cancer tumours in animals exposed to phone mast radiation. <clears throat> animals facing extinction have been reported here in India, Netherlands, Japan, up to 40% of hives lost, uh, insect extinction from, in Germany from study by entomologists, uh, and, and so it goes on. Nobody is immune from this. <clears throat> I have given two of the Glastonbury Festival environmental lectures. One of them um, has over eight thousand research articles <clears throat> on animals and a 20-page laboratory study citing the suppression of the immune system from ordinary low-level microwaves on cows, cats, dogs, hamsters, whales, birds, bees, bats, butterflies. <clears throat> The second one I gave, the, the first one was predominantly bees. The second one was animals from all species. I quoted 14 properly, independently, peer-reviewed university studies saying the same. Now, I want to come finally on animals to a study here. This is probably the biggest and most comprehensive and legal study. <clears throat> this is a 15-year study, hundreds of papers, a 15-year study, Mount Nardi and Mount 
Matheson World Heritage Site in Australia. The study was for, and this is a legal study, <clears throat> for the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. The conclusion over Mount Nardi, Mount Matheson, they only had 105 transmitters, which isn't that many, over 15 years. <clears throat> and I've never seen anything described like this before. They said, over the last 15 years, this affects not only the top of the life chain species, but they are devastating the fabric of the community of the world her heritage, causing genetic deterioration in an insidious, massive and ever escalating scale. <clears throat> to truly understand what these studies reveal is to stare into the abyss. And I've, I've never seen the word abyss in a scientific paper. <clears throat> and I thought, I'll just look it up in my Oxford dictionary um, to get the proper meaning because this is coming here with our nature. This is coming here. Summarise the document down here. But these are groups of species. These are not species. <clears throat> Some of these are 66 and 86 species. Um, <clears throat> and when you run down this whole list of species, the common words appear. They either migrate and they won't come back, they exhibit unnatural behaviour, and then you have gone, 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 retreated to another area, rarely heard, um, gone, gone, moved to the valleys, uh, and, and we're going right down with birds, butterflies, wasps, ants, termites, bees, frogs, you name it, they're all there. Um, and those that haven't gone, so the ants have become aggressive, but the moths, butterflies, ants, bees, flies, they are down around 80%. And some of the other creatures here, uh, like the grey thrush, they list as rare, and there are several rares, but the problem is not whether they're rare, but whether you have enough species left to regenerate. And this is before the 5G satellites start coming overhead and beaming down. I haven't seen the research, but I bet if anybody starts looking, you will see that tree diseases are slowly creeping up over the last 20, 25 years. They have to. But what people don't understand about trees, 70% <clears throat> of a fish is tree. But there is a, a very important fact here. Among this enormous chain of microorganisms, you have tiny little microorganisms called cocolithopores. Cocolithopores produce a molecule called dimethyl sulfide. It drifts out of the water into the air. And this is the only molecule, molecule known to take part, and that is necessary, in cloud formation. Now, if you go and cut down all of the trees in there, I think we're going to cut down 70 million or something. <clears throat> you cannot replace 70 million trees with 70 million saplings. The average age will be about 100 years and the saplings will not do the same job. If you cut down the trees, you are cutting down the formation of clouds in the atmosphere, which means you will get droughts. It is as simple as that. We cannot go round cutting down that many trees if it isn't necessary. And the only way to have 5G is to cut down trees. So there is a balance there and it needs to be known.